Hi. My name is Miko. In this video, JS Films will show you how to edit your green screen footage in Unreal Engine 5. Hey, what's going on, y'all? So like I said in my previous video, I was going to make a shorter version of that green screen tutorial that I did recently. So here we go. We are in Unreal Engine 5 now. And what I'm going to do is I already generated a green screen footage from Midjourney and DID. If you haven't seen the tutorial on how to do that, go ahead and check it out in the link I'll pull in the description below. But in this video here, instead of taking that DID video straight from the website into the DaVinci Resolve, I'm actually going to plug it in the Topaz AI video upscaler. So I have that open right now. I purchased this like last year during Black Friday. So again, I'm gonna browse right here and I have this file right here. Now, again, this file was generated with Midjourney and DID video. So I'll double click this. And now it's going to load it up in this Topaz Video Enhancer AI. So what I'm going to do is actually go ahead and try to upscale it using this software right here. So I'm just going to say Artemis Medium Quality. I'm going to upscale it to 4K. I'm not going to do anything crazy here. I'm going to say PNG Lossless. And after that, I'm just going to press Start Processing. All right, so that footage is done upscaling. So I'm going to pull it up. This is the original video right here. And I think the upscaled version is this right here. So I'm going to select this and then I'm just going to say PNG sequence. So it's going to import the entire thing. Now this is 4K now. It was upscaled. So I'm going to drag and drop that and create a new composition for it. And what I'll do is I'll drag the original footage that we got from DID now on top of that. And as you can see, it's going to be much smaller. And I'm going to scale it, press S. And I think it's 210 or 11. So now it's upscaled the same exact way. I will zoom in, but basically what we're trying to figure out is, did Topaz Enhancer AI give us more resolution? Did it make it more um, crisper, if that makes sense? So what I'll do is I will unhide now. This is the original footage, and now I'm gonna unhide it. And this is the enhanced version. So as you can see, it is much sharper much clearer so it did a pretty good job at upscaling our footage so this is what i'm going to be actually keying in davinci resolve and importing in unreal engine so let's go ahead and do that okay so here i am in davinci resolve again i'm going to drag and drop that footage that we enhance using topaz and i'm just going to edit it and i'm going to drag and drop it in here make it bigger and again we're just going to key this out so right now we're set at 1920 by 1080. Again, this is not a keying tutorial. You can key it with After Effects if you want to, if you want to use key light. But for me, this right here is just much faster than key light. So I'm going to go to Open Effects again, 3D keyer. I'm going to just drag and drop it in there. And I'm going to go to Effects. And I'm going to turn on the Open Effects overlay right here. And in here, I'm going to press the plus box. And I'm just going to key that out. And that should do a pretty good job. And again, I'm just going to mess around with the... Uh, the key here so we can get a better result. Additionally, if you want to use the alpha black and white, you can do that as well so you can see it better. So again, I'm just going to try and clean this up a little bit. That actually does a pretty good job. Now this method I actually used After Effects to mask out the background. And as you can see, we actually have a better result because I was really precise when I was keying it or masking it, if you will. All right, so once that's finished, what I'm going to do is actually crop the sides because as you can see, this is not going to work if we leave it like this. I'm going to have black bars on the left and right side. So to do that, it's pretty easy. You can actually set up a garbage mat in here. So I'm going to go rectangle and I'm going to invert this. And again, I'm just going to mess around with the settings here, probably like right here. And then for the height, I'm just going to max it out. And additionally, again, I can go to alpha white to kind of finesse this a little bit more. As you can see, we are seeing some more of the sides right there, which we really don't want that. Okay, so that looks clean. That should work. And we'll go to Final Composite. And again, what we'll do here is export it in EXR. And again, I'm doing this tutorial separately because I want people to find this better. Okay, so let's go ahead and go to Deliver. Format is gonna be EXR right here. Make sure you have Export Alpha checked off, full. I already have everything set up, uh, titled green. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and add to Render Queue, replace, and then Render 1. All right, so we're back in Unreal Engine 5.1, and what I'll do is I'll go to Edit, Plugins, make sure that that EXR plugin is enabled, which it is right here. I'll close this out, go to my content browser. I created a new folder called Girls. I'm gonna right-click, go to Media, Image Media Source, and I'll just type this girl in here, double-click, Sequence Path. We're gonna go to that folder that we just exported out of DaVinci, change this to 24 frames per second, save, and now we can drag and drop that here, and then we press simulate, we're not gonna see that girl on the chair. And again, let's just go ahead and finesse this a little bit, move it up. And similarly, make sure that we change the scaling because the aspect ratio is incorrect. So uncheck this lock, type in 1.78, 
create a new sequence. Queen Tut. We're gonna get that girl inside the sequence now. Just importing that. Say yes. And here we go. She is now set up. And what's cool is that the chair almost kind of lines up. So I'm just gonna mess around with that by just creating a new camera in here. And I'm gonna go to two views, go to layout, go to two panes. I'll set the uh, I'll set the Canon actor right there, and I'll go out of the scene right now. And there's some rotation in my camera, which I don't want. I'm just gonna move this up, and really just see if I can kind of push her back so it makes kind of sense. You know, she she looks kind of too big, but it's totally fine because what we can do is actually lock this. And we can go ahead and um, make, we, can, we can actually go ahead and scale this down if we need to, so that she actually fits the scene a little. Now you can take your time a lot more if you want, but I'm just gonna eyeball this. And what I'll do is I can probably hide this chair, so I'll type in the visibility and just disable that so that it's not messing around. It looks like she fits in the scene. Uh, additionally, we can actually center her, so I'll just turn that on for us. And just make sure she's in the middle. And if I go here, change this to 24 frames per second. Make this bigger. Now she's actually in there animating, which is perfect. It looks like we have a little bit of motion blur in there. I might turn that off. All right, so I'll turn off the motion blur there. All right, so this is how you can actually edit your actual footage. Sometimes whenever you import stuff in here, it could be bright, it could be dark. So what you do is you click on the girl here and find the materials. I'm gonna go ahead and exit out of that. We're gonna look for the materials right here. So what I'll do is I'll double click this material. And if I go here in the parent, you're gonna see there is an eyeglass button. So click on that. So what you're going to do is replace that with the other one called Media Plate CC. And now what that's gonna let you do is after you save this, this is gonna open up these controls, which is contrast, exposure, and you. So now if I go in here, and I'm go so that I can actually look at our camera view, I can now just decrease this brightness and match it with our scene a little bit more, maybe a negative three or so. And additionally, if I want to, I can increase that contrast so it matches our scene a little bit. Or 0 0.005. Again, play around with it if you want. Um, I think that will do it right there. Uh, if you want to change the, the color as well, you can. If you want her to kind of blend in a little bit into the scene. I mean, and just like that, our character kind of blends in a little bit more. Um, I am going to make the camera just go down a little bit. All right, so I'm going to adjust her just up a little bit. And I'm just finessing the framing here, okay? Just so that it looks right. All right, so if you notice right here, there is something on her chin. And that's actually these pair of glasses right here. So let's go ahead and delete that. Because she is just a plane after all, right? She's not really a 3D object. So she is just a plane. And basically, that's pretty much it. So how far do we have? We have about this much. So that's pretty much it. That is how you import green screen footage in Unreal Engine 5 and edit the brightness, contrast, and color. Like always, thanks for watching. Let me know if y'all have any questions, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out.